Hi, I'm Mima, and I'm a grandma and a mom, and I'm reading a book to you today about a dinosaur. Well, several dinosaurs. Triceratops. Triceratops. Ooh, have you heard of a triceratops before? Triceratops, some people say. Anyway, this triceratops was a seropsid, ceratopsid dinosaur. Now, on the bottom of this um, page, I don't know if you can see that, it gives you a guide to learn how to sound it out. So it says triceratops, and this one says ceratopsid. Ceratopsid. Those are big words, huh? So the triceratops was a ceratopsid dinosaur. It lived from 68 to 65 million years ago. The, the name Triceratops means three-horned face. So you see where he has three horns? One, two, three. Three horns on his face. Here's another picture of him. At 10 feet tall and 30 feet long, Triceratops was a big dinosaur. It had three horns on its face and a frill around its head. See this? They're calling that a frill around the head. And you see the horns? One, two, three. Three horns. Triceratops could charge at predators with its sharp horns. So what is a predator? Do you guys know what that is? A predator is um, an animal who would try to attack the triceratops and and the triceratops would just charge at them excuse me so the triceratops would just charge at the predator with its sharp horns and then it would scare away the predator so um, after it hatched triceratops grew quickly an adult dinosaur weighed about six tons a big triceratops could run as fast as 25 miles an hour if something was chasing it. Whoa, do you think that the ground would shake if it weighed that much and it was running? Oh yeah, the ground would be going whoa like that. And it could also stand up on its back legs to scare away a predator. So if a predator was coming at it and trying at coming toward a triceratops and trying to scare it, it could stand up on its hind legs and make itself look even bigger. And that would scare away the predator. Triceratops lived in or near forests. The forests had plenty of ferns, cycads, and bushy evergreen shrubs to eat. The first maple, oak, and walnut trees appeared when Triceratops was alive but the dinosaur was not tall enough to reach those leaves. Here's another picture. Did, you, did I already show you? The Triceratops was a very big animal. So 10 feet tall. Remember I told you it could be 10 feet tall. What is 10 feet tall that you know of? Okay, a doorway when in a regular house is about probably eight feet tall. So it's two feet taller about see if I can show you about this is about one foot so about two of those taller than a doorway that's how tall a triceratops could be okay so oh looks like there's one on the ground here herds of triceratops wandered around finding plants to eat they ate all day long they had to eat a lot because they had to keep those big bodies big other plant eaters like the duck build Edmontosaurus lived nearby. Meat eaters such as Tyrannosaurus rex tried to eat the Triceratops. Whoa, so the Tyrannosaurus rex was a predator to the, the Triceratops, right? Do you guys, are these words too big for you? No? Okay, so you're keeping up with me? That's awesome. A group of seropsids protected each other from meat-eating predators, but sometimes a hungry T-Rex was too strong for them. 
Triceratops died out about 65 million years ago. All the dinosaurs disappeared then, about 65 million years ago. That was before even Grandma and Grandpa were born. Oh, that's a long time ago. Scientists know about tricerat Triceratops because they have studied fossils. Fossils are the remains of living things that died long ago. Many fossils of Triceratops have been found in the western United States. The first one was found in 1888. A man named John Bell Hatcher found the first Triceratops skull, and this is what it looked like. So this is the skull, because he, this, this dinosaur right here, this Triceratops, he died so many years before anybody we know was born. And the only thing left are the bones, his bones. So this was his head, and these are his horns. One, two, three. And this was his mouth. So these are just the bones that he uh, had when he was alive, but, but he died a long time ago. Triceratops compared with a five foot tall person. So this is about how tall some people that you know are. So five feet tall, you might know somebody who's five feet tall, maybe your big brother or sister or somebody at school, five feet tall is about medium height and this is how big the triceratops was if they were standing next to you. Uh, crazy big, right? So paleontologists are people who study dinosaurs. Othniel C. Marsh was the paleontologist who named the triceratops. He called it three-horned face because of the three horns that stick out from the dinosaur's face. One, two, three. And then he had this frill also. So can you guys say paleontologist? It has another little bar here that shows us how to sound off the word. Paleontologist. 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 Those are the people that study dinosaurs. People used to think that Triceratops used its frill to scare away predators, this part, this back part here. But now people think that the frill also helped Triceratops keep its body cool or warm. But scientists still study Triceratops. There are more things to learn about this three-horned face. And it's possible that their bodies were colorful. We don't really know because they died so long before we were born that we don't, we, nobody ever saw one before. So we're guessing what colors they are. We don't really know. A virtual field trip, the Smithsonian Institution, Washington, D.C. You can see a Triceratops skeleton. Can you see that? See that the horns? So that's the face. It's kind of hard to see right there. It's a skeleton, so it's just only the bones. So you can see a Triceratops skeleton at the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. In 1905, the skeleton was pieced together from parts from many different dinosaurs. It was the first Triceratops ever displayed in a museum. In the 1990s, paleontologists took it apart and replaced some of the bones that did not fit. The new and improved Triceratops has been on display since 2001. So there are other places where you can also see dinosaur bones. I know that at the universities, a lot of universities have a paleontology department and they have bones there. Maybe you can check and see close to your house if you can see the bones there. And there are um, natural museums of history where you can see them. So there are a lot of places. Also, you can probably look at them, ask your mom or dad to help or grandma or grandpa uh, to help you find them on a YouTube channel, and then you can look at some more dinosaur bones if you love dinosaurs. Anyway, hope you liked it. Triceratops, that was kind of an educational, but not really a fun story, but very, very entertaining because you learned a lot, huh? So Triceratops is a kind of a dinosaur, and it's the one with the three horns on its head, and it was 10 feet tall, it 
it was big and it weighed a lot and it could run and it could stand on its hind feet and make itself look bigger to keep away predators. Okay, enough about dinosaurs because I want to tell you something. You're right. How do you know? I love you. Mwah. I hope to see you again soon. Bye. Bye for now. Come back again. Okay, we'll do another story later. Mwah.